And again, we're gonna keep showing up as long as the resistance is strong, as long as our people back home are showing strong because they are the backbone of the resistance. Yeah, yeah. And our responsibility here is to strengthen their steadfastness, to support them in any way we can, because those are our, our, our families in Gaza, in Lebanon, and everywhere else. Our struggle here is not in isolation. We are connected. So I, I ask everyone to join us back on the streets before we start moving. And let's start chanting.
escalate the war with Lebanon, but behind the curtains, they are supplying them with weapons worth tens of billions of dollars and supporting them with all their intelligence capabilities. Shame! These events that are currently unfolding in Lebanon are nothing new. This country has been in the struggle against Zionism since it first started, and this war it is nothing but a continuation of their aggression against our Lebanese and Palestinian people. Lebanon was invaded multiple times by the IOF in the past decades, resulting in them being defeated 
and humiliated in Beirut, Khaldi, Jabal Lebanon, Bikha, and then dragged out of southern Lebanon in the year 2000. And let us, let us not forget the total defeat in 2006. Just, just yesterday, the IOF announced that they started their so-called limited ground operation in southern Lebanon. We all know that their, their intentions are to do what they do best, to kill, destroy, and occupy. Shame! The current euphoric state they're, they're in blinds them to see how much they are underestimating the force of the Lebanese resistance. They will yet again face a total defeat by stepping on the Lebanese soil. The access of the resistance from Yemen to Gaza, to the West Bank, to Lebanon, to Iraq will not rest and will not stop their support for Gaza until reaching a ceasefire, a total withdrawal of the IOF from Gaza down, down the occupation. Our nation. بيننا وبينهم جبال جثث وأنهار حقد ودم وعويل وثار طويل وطويل وطويل. لو لو أننا نعلم أننا نقتل ثم نحرق ثم نطرف الهواء ثم نحيا ثم نحرق ثم نقتل ثم ننشر في الهواء. يفعلوا بنا ذلك ألف مرة بل مئة ألف مرة ما تركناك يا فلسطين ما تركناك يا فلسطين هي في عقيدة أمة حية وإرادة قومية فاعلة تريد الانتصار قد تسقط أجسادنا أما نفوسنا فقد فرضت حقيقتها على هذا الوجود ولن تزول كل ما فينا هو من الأمة وكل ما فينا هو للأمة الدماء التي تجري في عروقنا عينها ليست ملكا لنا هي وديعة الأمة فينا حتى طلبتها وجدتها فإن الحياة كلها وقفة عز فقط مقاومة مقاومة أنا أود أن أتصل بي في فرصة التراك على الباك كل من نحن هنا لأحد سبب نحن هنا لحقوق نحن هنا to go on an end to the genocide happening in Palestine, to the massacres and the war that's going to start in Lebanon. There is no room for division. There is no room for sectarianism. We are all fighting the same enemy. It's a Zionist enemy. Can I ask everyone to listen? We're all fighting the same enemy. And and the only way, the only way we can win is if we are united. We thought that our will is not going to be broken. It's not going to be broken as long as we are united. All of us here have a responsibility. If someone's trying to create division, we stand up. We shouldn't care. Where you're from, or what religion you are, whether you're Muslim, Sunni, Shia, or Christian, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is that we're fighting together. And we need to keep that going. We need to keep that going until we are victorious, until Israel is gone. And it will be gone. Many 